Okay, in this video we're going to be making a coil pot. The very first step is to roll out the coil. You're just going to take a piece of clay and roll it out, kind of like a, like a snake or something. And you can roll it as thin or as thick as you want, but I kind of use like the thickness of a pencil as sort of my base. That's a good size to start with. To make the base of the pot, I'm just going to simply make this thing into a spiral. So you can see I'm making it kind of like a snail shell or a cinnamon roll. But as I go, I'm also applying a little bit of pressure to make sure it's sticking together well. Sometimes you get little areas where it doesn't want to stick or you'll get a little bit of um, cracking happening in the clay. So I added just a little bit of moisture to make sure that the clay was sticking together. If you don't have enough coil to make the base the size you want, you can always add an extra coil. Mine is definitely long enough and so I'm actually gonna remove part of the end since I don't want the base to be that big. I'm using my fingers and a little bit of moisture to smooth that little end piece on there really nicely so it stays stuck together. There's the base. Now sometimes if you're making a coil pot and you don't want there to be any cracks at all, like you, you know you want it to hold water, um, what you'll do is smooth the coils together on one side and just use your finger to kind of smear across and gently join the clay so that it doesn't have any little cracks can help to add a little bit of slip or a little moisture. Um, when you're doing this, be careful not to smash your clay any flatter or thinner than it was. You're, you're more just like smoothing the top, kind of like if you're spreading peanut butter on a piece of bread. You don't want to smash the bread underneath. So just to work across that, I kind of push in towards the middle to help keep it from getting smushed out too thin and flat. And really, this step is optional. You don't have to do this. Um, I'm just showing you how in case you wanted to. Now I'm done, and as you can see, the other side still shows the spiral. You can choose which of those sides shows inside the pot and which one is facing down. Now I'm ready to add like the walls of my pot. I'm gonna add a little bit of slip to the outer edge because that's where I'm gonna put the next coil. And I like to pinch the edge of the coil skinnier so that I can sort of smush it and um, adhere it to the bottom of the pot. And then as I add this coil, I'm pressing somewhat down into the base so that it really sticks well. Once I've gone once around, I'm gonna add a little more moisture around that rim so that I've got the slip helping the clay to stick together. And I'm just doing another layer of the same coil exactly on top of the previous layer. If you really wanted to, you could build these layers up with each coil layer going a little tiny bit wider than the last, and that would make a, a clay pot that would sort of flare as it goes upward. Be careful if you do that, though, not to make the flare too drastic because sometimes that'll make the sides of the pot kind of fall down. So just be careful with it. There's my about three layers, and I can smooth out any little spots that have a crack or look weird or seem uneven. Um, but I'm ready for my next part. Here, I'm noticing that I started my layer and then ended my other layer in an uneven way. And there's like this one little spot that's lower because it only really has two layers. So I'm gonna add some slip and put like a little mini coil right there. Notice I tapered the ends so that it would be smooth all the way across the top. I don't want there to be like a little mountain or a little spot that's sticking up higher than everything else. So I'm smoothing that together, just making sure my layers are all even. There you go. Now, another thing you might wanna do is do some coils that are not just a flat layer. You can add coils that come in like little spirals, like a series of mini spirals in a row. What I'm doing here is I'm making some, I don't know what you'd call them. They kinda of end up looking like the top of a crown, making some little sticky up parts. It sounds so official, doesn't it? But what I'm gonna do in the middle of those is I'm gonna place like a, a round piece of clay that's slightly flattened, almost like a fat coin. And I'm gonna let that kind of add a design element to my pot. Um, I mentioned at the beginning when I was making the base that you might wanna make your pot where it can definitely hold water. On this one, I don't really care. I'm planning on holding other things with this pot. 
that aren't liquid. So it's not gonna matter if I have little bits of daylight showing through. Um, here I've sped up the video a little bit so it won't take so long, but there you can kind of see what I'm talking about, that it looks like a crown, and there's my little round piece of clay that I'm just gonna set in between there, making sure that I add a little slip with each of these so that it wants to stick. And I'm making those little round pieces of clay so that they're as tall as those little spaces. They fit just in there. Um, so when I'm all done, I can add another flat layer or two to kind of finish it off. So here I go, I added another layer. The first layer kind of wants to wobble ar around because it's going up and down over the round bits, but after a couple of layers, it's sort of smoothing out so that I've got kind of like stripes in the bottom, a design in the middle, and stripes on the top. So that's it, that's my coil pot. Uh, I hope you enjoy making your own.